In the late 1800s, model basins were being used in Europe for scale model testing of potential ship designs. By 1896, the United States Navy was ready to begin construction on a model basin of its own. If the results of the tests on scale models were to be relied upon, the testing facility must meet exacting specifications. To ensure this, the Navy turned to David Watson Taylor, the brilliant naval constructor and marine engineer who had championed the cause. The basin would be known as the Experimental Model Basin. Construction began in 1896, and by 1899 it would be complete. For the first time, science could be used to determine the optimal hull design and power requirements for ships of the fleet. The work done at the EMB formed the basis of Taylor's seminal work, The Speed and Power of Ships. It also revolutionized American shipbuilding. Construction of the basin was problematic from the start. Located very close to the eastern branch of the Potomac River, the basin had several weak springs running beneath it. There were even some concerns of quicksand at the northern end of the basin. Taylor ordered the construction of the basin within sheet piling. This way, the pressure of the water around the basin would not cause the basin to collapse into itself. The end result was a basin inside a building. The water level was kept constant with water from one of the streams. A towing apparatus ran across the basin along tracks set atop the sides of the basin. The model would be attached to this towing carriage. At the far end of the basin, there was a system in place to allow the waves created by the model to dissipate. As the carriage raced to the opposite end of the basin, the only disturbance in the water was caused by the model. These disturbances were recorded and analyzed to identify the most efficient designs. Taylor devised a set of profiles that are known as the Taylor Standard Series for the models that were tested and proven to be successful designs. Special equipment was designed for the construction of the 20-foot pine models. An ediograph was used to enlarge the plans and facilitate the cutting of the model sections. A cutting machine was used to form the model. Taylor wrote, the sizes are so arranged that the saw does not cut within one-eighth of an inch of the intended finished surface of the models. Taylor directed operations at the EMB, building number 70, the small white building on the left, from 1899 until 1914. By the 1930s, pressure for a newer, larger basin was mounting. By 1939, the new David Taylor model basin at Carter Rock was completed. Easily spotted from the air, the new basin is an impressive and imposing structure. Despite the fact that he had suffered a stroke years earlier, David Taylor himself was on hand to attend the dedication ceremony. On display in the lobby of the basin at Carter Rock are several items associated with Rear Admiral David Watson Taylor. Among these are his desk, his round slide rule, configured in this way for maximum accuracy, and a portrait of him at the end of his remarkable career.